Hey, good morning. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. It is Sunday, July 12th, 2020, and hi. Good to see you guys. Yeah, there's more packages. This has been like the week of unboxing and packages. I know this is from, um, this is from Andrew, and I know one thing that's in it, but I'm not sure the other one. One is a repaint that he wants me to do in a warm mouth. I think the other is a blank that he told me to just have fun with. So, Andrew, thank you very much. We're going to open this up and see what we've got. All right. Oh, cool. I've got stickers. I love stickers. Stickers are awesome. See? You can open a package without ripping stuff apart. So, awesome. Risen. Custom Lures. That's Andrew's company. That is his information. Go check him out there. And there's a note. There's always a note. Welcome to Pickett Elementary School. Sometimes I feel like I'm back in elementary, like every day probably, because there's just so much to learn. That's not meant to be in a bad way. That's a cool thing. So, Jen, thank you for taking this warm mouth on. I'm so excited to see how you take this elegant and tough fish on and make it yours you continue to be an inspiration to many of us i pray god continues to bless you thank you andrew debay risen custom lures thank you so much so much so much enjoy the stickers as a gift you know i'm going to put it where it can be seen i always do that for you guys um i have a saying and I, it probably is not my saying but i don't recall anybody else using it at least i don't know but there's there's a couple mentalities to any line of business where there's a bunch of people trying to do the same thing and all make money. I've always felt that the many outweigh the few or the single um, and that we are all better for it together. Like we can get through anything as a team. Um, and that's, that's proof positive when you look at, especially if we just go back to other YouTubers, if you go back to people like in the fishing industry like the Guggen Squad and Fish Media and the conglomerate that they have built by working together, I've always felt that people that do what I do, they're not my competition, they're my community. So I hope that that makes sense. I really do. Uh, and that's truly how I feel. You guys are not my competition. You guys are my community. This is a cool blank, and I'm looking forward to making this into a warm mouth. Andrew, thank you so much for that. And then he sent me a blank, which is a crawfish pattern, and it's got a lip that comes with it, almost um, like the mega-style lips. It's that flare-out square bill, and it looks like plexiglass, and these are great. You just insert the lip. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of carving on this or sanding down to get it to fit and then you super glue it in make sure that it's straight and then you do the build uh, you always want I always try to get this on and taped off before I clear coat it because clear coat can wreak havoc on this stuff you'll never get it to fit in properly and if you do it takes a lot longer so very cool blank thank you Andrew for the gift and I'm looking forward to it um, my turnaround time it does get longer as I progress in my career and that's a good thing and it's also a frustrating thing I try to on the website I try to do my best to explain that everything is spray to order um, and I normally am about four weeks out and right now I'm four to six weeks out so we've gotten through April I'm in the middle of May should be through May and June um, within the next couple of weeks but I keep getting orders so I understand that some people can get frustrated when they're not getting an immediate order, but if you take the time to read the custom process page on the website, that will better explain it for you because everything is spray to order. So when you order it, then I spray it. And that's one of the most effective ways that I know with the variety of stuff that I offer to keep my inventory costs down because there's no guarantee when I spray a specific pattern that it's going to sell to have X amount of inventory on it. When you order it, that way I can specifically have that blank or acquire that blank as quickly as I can for you guys. I hope that makes sense. So we'll put his stuff off to the side here. Andrew, 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 thanks. Very cool. 
I'm looking forward to all of that. I've got pieces to show you, but I also want to let you know that the apparel is coming in. Um, we've got t-shirts coming in, and that's the other thing is that I, as a small business, cannot afford to order hundreds and hundreds of a single size of a t-shirt. So the t-shirts are, as you order them, they get ordered, uh, they get ordered a couple of times a week, and then they get shipped back to me when they're done. I am trying to source a local printer, uh, screen printer. I've gotten burned in the past using stuff like real local here. Um, but I'm usually, I'm usually really happy for about six months to a year with my screen printer and then something inevitably happens. Now this year, it's only been because my screen printer is in Canada. Um, they were very cost effective. They do a fantastic job. But then when this COVID stuff hit, FedEx was getting stopped at the border on all packages. And it's not just from Canada, it's from everywhere internationally. And you guys feel that, that burn as consumers. So I know that you guys understand what's going on there, but just a, just a quick reference on that. But I am trying to look at somebody in the States again, and I may have found a couple of uh, options right here in Jonesboro if I can negotiate a decent price so that you guys are not paying through the nose for t-shirts from a small business, because that doesn't make sense either. So that's where we are on those. So these are coming in. Um, so stick with me on that one. I've got a bunch of shirts to ship out this week. So that's it as far as the unboxings. Thanks again to Andrew from Risen. Looking forward to doing this for him. Very excited about that. Um, very cool. And thanks for the extra blank. And just to fill you guys in on the t-shirts. I know you guys ordered some stuff from the 4th of July. The cool thing about those shirts is they've got the flag on them and you can wear that flag year round. So first up is this baby bull shad. And I did this in a crappie signature pattern. And this is the creature feature random stencil. I think it's number 44 or 45 from Andrew over at Anarchy Models UK. His link is always on here as is Russ Allen's from Insane. You guys can always see those. Very cool. Love doing them. I'm getting a bunch of those in um, from customers to repaint and some also some bigger bull shads and stuff like that. So love doing swim baits. This is the dried version and clear coated of that real pretty finesse lipless. And this iPhone does not do it justice, but there is so much purple in this bait. You can sort of see it through there, but it's very iridescent, really good color changes on that. A Northern Potomac Craw. I haven't done any Potomac River stuff in a while, but this is a money pattern. I've used this color combination, as have some of my pro staffers in tournaments in the Potomac River south and north and this one usually gets the job done. It's a smaller presentation on a 1.5. You can see those very cool Jetson lure eyes in this. So thanks John over at Jetson. Love doing exotic eyes on stuff. Northern Gill. A little bit more browns in this. This is available on the website. And that yellow perch in Awake, also with John's eyes over at Jetson. Get you guys closer on that. You can see those eyes. And then a request for some bigger baits. Now, bigger baits cost more, obviously, for paint and prep and seal, because I double, triple seal these. There is availability on the website. If you guys look at the ProLine repaint uh, page, that is intended for regular, normal baits, not big baits like this. Um, and the pricing is pretty reasonable for that as well. Like, like I can do an epoxy for like eight bucks and, and ship it out. I can do uh, regular size crankbaits like this for um, up to 18. If there's buffing and sanding, I, do, I don't do split bills. But then when you get into the bigger baits, that's custom order. That's specifically only through um, contacting me because it just costs more to prep them and paint them and seal them. And you guys know that. So make sure you guys are reading the 
custom process page on the website before you order anything off of the ProLine repaints. And it's pretty clear on what I do and can't do for normal, but I think sometimes people misinterpret. Uh, they're like, oh wow, that's a great price. And it's for a crankbait, it's not for a swimbait. So just make it, if you have any questions, hit me up. This is a better example of that purple paint and how iridescent it is. And you can see the color shift. So it's purple here and it's like the greenish there. And I love doing iridescent shape shift type deals, color shift type deals. Same with that. You've got your blues and then you look at it in different light and it turns purple. This is probably one of the best examples I've been able to give on the properties of really good iridescent paint. And this is German iridescent paint, by the way. It's not, I got it, oh gosh, where did I get it? I want to say I got it at a German art store online because I wanted to play around with some pretty cool iridescent paint. So it's not, it's not inexpensive, but you can get that to do that. Just thought I'd share that. So that's on a great big Bubba Trap. And then he had asked for a couple of cichlid patterns. <laughs> if you guys saw Facebook the other day, I used it as a skin rash blemish, fish got eaten type deal. Just made it a signature pattern. And this is a 2D eye. It's just a little shading and you guys can achieve that too. You just angle your brush when you spray. And that gives it that 3D property on a 2D paint. So that's fun. I love doing that. Love shading. I'm really getting into shading and detailing um, with an airbrush now at lower speeds, reduced paints, all that kind of stuff. And I have not, Nate Singer, thanks for being a Game of Thrones fan, I have not done a Dire Wolf in probably a year and a half. And I really miss the series on HBO. But this is the House Stark Colors. The Dire Wolf was the, uh, the pattern name. And the Night King is very similar, just in the proper colors with the blue. But lots of spider webbing. You can see that this was done on a chromed bait. So you can see the chrome properties underneath. And I just, I love doing patterns like this. This is going to crush some musky for you and some pike. I hope. I think so. I, I usually have pretty confident opinions on what's going to work and what's not going to work. But it's on a good bait too. You've got it on one of these Rapalas. So that is what I've got for you guys this morning. I'm going back to work. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to spray, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Cheers, and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.